In this tutorial, we will teach you how to edit a video in iMovie. To start with a new project, you will have to go to the File menu on top, move to Import, and click on the Movies option. Once the processing is completed, the selected clip will be displayed on the Event Browser here. Now that we have imported the movie onto the stage, let's start assembling the movie we will be working on. For that, drag the pointer over the clip which you want to crop out and click. You will notice a yellow box appearing on the selected clip. You can use the mouse pointer to make the selection longer or shorter based on your requirements. Basically, the right side is the out point and the left side is the in point. You can drag the cursor to move the two points on the timeline. With that done, let's add the clip to our project. For that, simply drag the selection in the project window over here. Similarly, let's import more video clips in the project. Now what if you want to change a particular movie clip that has already been imported in the project? For that, open up the drop-down menu here and click on the Clip Trimmer option. With that done, the timeline will open in front of you. You can now change the selection according to your requirements. If you're working on a longer video and just want to change the clip without having to affect any other objects on the timeline, this option is particularly useful. Now let's add a transition between the clip. For that, click on this icon over here. With that done, the transitions window will open up. Now all you have to do is drag the transition in between the clips like so. Let's add a transition between all of the clips here. To preview what you've done so far, simply click on the beginning of the clip and press the spacebar key. Notice that the last transition was pretty fast. In order to slow it down, simply double click on the transition. Next to the duration option, simply change the time duration of the transition and click on the done button. To add a narration to your video, simply click on the microphone icon over here. With the new window opened up, you can change the input volume and configure the noise reduction according to your requirements. In order to start recording, all you have to do is click on the timeline from where you want the narration to start, and that's it. Once done, you will see the voiceover layer in the project timeline over here. Now we are done with our basic video, so let's export the movie. For that, move to the Share tab and click on the Export Movie Using QuickTime option. With the new window opened up, you can name the file, choose where it is saved, and click on the Save button. With that taken care of, let's move to the desktop and see how the output looks. And there you have it, a basic video using the simple editing features present in iMovie. Thanks for watching. This was a HowTech.tv tutorial.